Hello everybody, I'm Luis and let's talk about the advanced docket panel. Yeah, let's talk about docket panel again. This guy when you can hide and show inside Revit and put in some place like this if you want, of course. And I already created a video about this, but I recreate uh, and discover some interesting uh, stuff about uh, uh, how docket panel works inside Revit. Yeah. Uh, here's the project, link in the description, but I, I recreate the Docker panel service, uh, create service anyway, and now I can add something like this, inject the, and can create the page and inject that instance in the, and register the panel. So, and one thing that's uh, interesting to show is how Docker panel works in Revit, uh, in specific the page when load, when unload and stuff like that. For example, if I open a new uh, page in here, uh, what's going to happen? Uh, this page, new project, actually open new project, this page is going to be uh, hide, be invisible for one frame or one uh, the event is visible change, going to be uh activated for false and then true yeah that's gonna happen and change between documents for some reason that's that's is it and if i close uh nothing gonna happen and if i open again nothing happened as well but if i close all the projects let's close this yeah let's close this uh let's open the here yep yeah. uh what happened the the page gonna be unload yeah, and if I open new document, the page is gonna be load and gonna be true. Uh, the visibility, yeah, gonna be too true. Uh, that's what happened for some reason. That's the for some reason uh, behind the scene. Yeah, and my page is hide for that. So yeah, that's gonna be loads. And yeah, if I close this project, this document is gonna be on load. And if I open again, it's gonna be load. That's what happened. And yeah, that's interesting to know. Could be useful in some approach, but yeah, uh, that's that's it. And what I did in this new approach, uh, actually, I had I create a new interface. Uh, this one, yeah, uh, Docker Panel Document Provider. Yeah, with that, I can I basically. Uh, create this Docker panel changes and inject this uh, information for the Docker panel ID, the framework or the uh, WPF framework elements. In this case, the document if it exists and the Docker panel if it exists as well. Because if I don't have a document open, this is, uh, this is new, yeah. And the same happened with the document. That's what I'm doing. And I'm creating here uh, this uh, this class with that interface, I should do this and open a new Revit just to to show what happened. Yes, and uh, basically in this case I'm forcing to hide that panel when uh, my document is a family document. Yeah, you can do other approaches, but I mean doing this as an example yeah and I'm gonna open my Revit and let's see the event happening on on this new uh this new section so let's wait to finish let's go in here let's open my uh my console and let's open new uh new document uh, when I open a new document, that's gonna trigger and gonna check the document if it's a family or not. And gonna gonna show in here, yep, the document. This is the name of the, my the title of my panel. Yeah, this probably is false because it's hidden. And this is the name of the document. And this one, I don't remember what it is this is. This is the framework element. Yeah. And yeah, if I go in here and click to show, uh, I don't like this place. 
That's a little annoying. Let's move this in here. Let's put it here and this one in here. Good. Yes, I don't need this anymore. Let's go in here. Yeah. Uh, here's my panel and here's the events that happen in there. Let's show this one that's easier. Uh, this one is hide or shows. If I hide this, gonna be hide and it's gonna be show. Yeah. Yeah. So if I open a new document, I'm gonna trigger again to see because I change documents. So I'm gonna show the name of the document here. Project two. Yeah, great. If I let's let's go back in here. Let's move this to here. Yep. Let's create a wall in here. Let's create a door and let's open this one. Edit this and this uh, doc panel gonna be closed. And that document open. Yep. So that's basically what that event is doing. That's basically basically it. So if I go in my project, uh, here's the event or the interface. I can add the, the same interface inside my page. I'm gonna work the same, so I don't need to create a new one. But yeah, uh, and the register gonna work like this. Yeah, this is a good one. Uh, I have the GUI, the title, if I add, uh, the element that's basically the firm element. I'm doing all the same stuff with the title to have a, a valid title. And uh, if my element have that interface, gonna add if this one is new and or this one is new as well. So we can add this interface in our page, like uh, like you should do. And this other one that I create should add that effect. You don't need to add actually. You can create uh, like this one. This one doesn't have anything in that. So yeah, and works the same. By default, we're gonna add in some place, but yeah, that works fine. So if I can do something like this, I'm change the, the background. And this one, I get the framework, the framework element and change uh, that if I want. Not a good idea, but yeah, you can. Because I can get that framework now. Where is it? Not this one. This one's not true. I can get the framework element using this. Get elements by the GUI. Yeah. And I can get the element because I'm injecting in here. And remember, in this interface, in this class anyway. And when you, that's a good one to say, I'm using these two events. That's why I need to initialize and release uh, the events when my shutdown happened. Yeah, that's basically what's going on. I probably gonna create a package for this. That's gonna be fun. Uh, so I can reuse this approach in other projects more easily without copying the code between projects. So yeah. Uh, that's it. So don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna create that video soon. Yeah. Thanks for watching and bye. Let's hide this. Hide this. Bye.